Meanwhile, the U.S. military is halting military exercises in the Gulf region. That's as U.S. ally Saudi Arabia leads an economic boycott of Qatar. And as CGTN's Giles Gibson explains, it's not clear how this could affect ongoing U.S. operations in the Gulf. Now, the Pentagon is not explaining exactly which military exercises won't be going ahead uh, in the wake of this announcement, although a Pentagon spokesman did tell CGTN uh, that the decision was made out of respect for the concept of inclusiveness and shared regional interests. He also went on to say that we will continue to encourage all partners to work together towards the sort of common solutions that, that enable security and stability in the region. Now, this decision, of course, comes at a time when the United States is very much stuck in the middle of the Qatar diplomatic dispute. Uh, since June, the, uh, the United Arab Emirates, uh, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain and Egypt have all placed Qatar under an economic boycott because they accuse the country of supporting extremism in the region. Now, it's important to point out that Qatar denies all those allegations of supporting extre extremism, uh, but really the U.S. finds itself uh, in the middle of that dispute because on the one hand, they're a very close ally, a very close partner of Saudi Arabia, which is actually leading that economic boycott. But on the other hand, uh, they're also uh, a very close partner of Qatar. They have a, a large military base inside the country, which coordinates uh, much of their sort of regional activity there. So really the question now is, uh, after this decision, uh, how does that affect the United States' ongoing uh, operations inside the Gulf and the wider region, for example, uh, the annual Eagle Resolve joint operations that they conduct uh, every year with allies inside that region. Giles Gibson, CGTN, Washington.